So with, let's go into the retrofit solutions technical documentation. And um, we got a, 10 minutes to carry, go through a lot of stuff. But primarily, we have uh, damper actuators. And we have a cross-reference. As you can see here, it goes to the different pages. And we look up the product numbers. These are just little examples. We have Honeywell, you know, they're, they're 44 inch pound. We can we can switch between the 35 or the 60 Belimos and so on and so forth. And there's the non-spring crossover. These are just applications that you can see we can we can go across to the different manufacturers. Here's a Siemens motor that we use the TF on. Um, and here's our here's our Siemens GCA121.U. So basically you would just go to the page, this is the Siemens the Belimo. And you see you have your Siemens number, and then what you have the Belimo replacement is. And these particular columns, it'll give you what the Belimo is set up as. Now we have a GCA121.1U would be an AF24US, so on and so forth. But here we got to be careful, and this is where you, you need to check sometimes on some numbers. We have a GCA131.1P, which is a floating type motor. Okay. Our suggestion is an AF24 MFT, which is really the only thing we can use. And as you can see, we state here in the nomenclature that it looks like it's a 2 to 10 motor, which it can be, um, but we need to program it to a floating motor. So this is very important that just when you do place the order to verify, like with industrial, that you know we, need, we have a GCA 131 1P, so we've got to say, hey, it's a floating motor, so we'll need to get that programmed. You want to add to that, um, Wes? Yes, that in across the board in the MFT series, even if you wanted a 2 to 10, you, you sort of need to state that up front so that we have 0 to 10, 2 to 10 uh, floating in that MFT series. So, so what I'm saying is when I place an order with Belimo, they're looking for that program code whenever you see the MFT designation. Good. All right, this is just some pictures. We can do train retrofits. Um, we use different types of brackets with the LF or AFs. Um, I'm just going through some pages, and there's all different different type of items. But in the crank in the accessory page, just you can pull out a crank arm, and what happens just just to show the designation is it gives you the ZF AF US, ZG AF US. I'm sorry, would be would be uh, okay for the AF and the NF. So it's just a quick little description. And the ZG AF 108 and the ZG LF 112 are probably one of the more popular ones, and I think they handle a, a good a, a majority of uh, retrofits. And, uh, yeah, I would I would say that uh, those two. Now, see that part number you have there, Rob. That's miss. Well, see that doesn't have the crank arm. Go back a second. Okay. And that would those are the part numbers for probably 99 percent of what you want to do when you're not putting the Belimo uh, damper actuator onto the damper shaft. Mm -hmm. So this, these kits give you everything you need to get what you see in the picture there. That means you have a foot-mounted plate, and also you convert what would have been the clamp into a crank arm. From there, to go to the damper, you're going to need a ball joint on that crank arm. You're going to need a push rod. At the other side, you're going to need another ball joint. And then if you're going on the blade of the damper, you'll need another crank arm. And, you'll, and or if you're going to the blade, you'll need something to mount it on the blade with. But these two units, the AF, ZGAF-108 and ZGLF-112, are probably 99% of what you use in uh, kits to come up with a crank arm. That's it. OK. And there's some item pictures. All right, let's go to glow valve retrofits. We have glow valves of all different types out there, and a majority of them we do have a, a good cross to them, but if we don't, we can uh, work on um, doing a custom retrofit. On glow valves, we have two, uh, two uh, options. You can use the NV or the UGLK linkage, which is just your regular Belimo on a linkage. And uh, the UNV and the NV series, the one thing, if you're using spring return, you got to make sure that you, you get the right one that, that fails in the up position or the down position. The only way to change up to down is you need to change the actuator, which becomes, you know, you know, you have to return one and order it again, and it's a little difficult. So you just got to make sure if you do like the NVF, it has a very good close-off in a linear way, and um, 
you just got to make sure you order the correct uh, fail-safe. UGLKs, the nice thing about those is if you order the wrong fail-safe, you can just turn the motor around, um, which is a nice thing. And here's the different applications. We have multiple UNV kits. And uh, quickly going through the components, we have the motor. Um, we have this bracket, the adapters. Now, this bracket comes in different lengths. So this is what changes the difference in stroke that required to open close the close the valve. Um, there's the valve. This coupler, if you have to use this coupler, if you have one existing in the field, you should replace this coupler. Um, I don't have the product number right here, but it's important that it's a, like a one-time use. And in the, in the uh, nomenclature, the retrofit catalog, it, it tells you the exact how to assemble and shows you pictures. Um, so here we're going to go a quick cross. We got a B5011, uh, two-way. It's somewhere between one and I think I used a one inch for an example, which would be a UNV006. It's a one inch. And at 183 inch pounds close off, you use an NBF series, which is that linear series. If we go to a one inch and need non-spring return, you get 229 pound close off a 250, we'll have the NV or the NVG, which NV series is floating on off, NVG is modulating. So when do we use the uh, UGLK? 120 volt is required, because the uh, NVs only come in 24 volt. There's a requirement that greater than 3 quarter inch stroke. So the NV is only limited to a 3 quarter inch stroke for the globe valve open or close. If you need an auxiliary switch, 0 to 135. Um, and say, hey, you don't know the spring position, this is a perfect one to order. Uh, I also just showed that we have NV kits for flange glow valves, and the longest stroke that can be is no larger than an inch and a half. So if you have some of those big old-time glow valves that are larger than one and a half inch stroke, um, we do not retrofit those.